Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Now this is a requested video and I'm going to be showing you guys how can you upgrade your barn in silo faster or what is the barn in silo. So now we're in the game and I'm just going to send these visitors away because they're always asking for the things that I never have. So let's just do a little bit of gameplay. I'm just going to ask for help on my nectar bushes and I'm going to plant a few. All right, there we go. Let's see what else do we have. I have a boat here. I need, I don't have enough fish, which I think is crazy. Okay. I'm just going to fill some indigos. Um, I have some fried rice. I can easily make them. I'm just going to ask for help on my fish. Alright guys, so in this video we are going to be looking all the ways to get expansion materials to upgrade our barn in silo faster. Now if you guys have been watching my videos, you will know one thing that a few days, since few days, a few months, I've been upgrading my barn in silo real quick. And even if you guys have a look at my barn, you can see I already have collected a lot of expansion tools and even just a week ago I upgraded my barn. So how do I do it and how you can do it? Because barn and silo are one of the two very important things in the game. These are like the heart of your farm. If you have a bigger barn, you have a great game. If you don't have a big barn, you're going to have a lot of problems. But at the end of the day, you can always manage. Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about to upgrade your barn faster and real quick is basically trade. I do not tell you to do this. Like, it's not a compulsory thing. You don't really have to do trade. But if you are willing to have a real big barn, you can start trading. Now, I've seen a lot of people. Um, I've seen low-level players having a really high barn space. I've seen high-level players having a very low barn space. And that all depends on trade. So what do you do in trade? You basically make food. For example, you make creams. You make butter. You make cheese, goat cheese. And you go over here in your sugar mill, you make a lot of white sugar, you make brown sugar, you make syrups, and you go to your sauce maker and you make a lot of important sauces because these are all the products that are really rare. Also, in your candy maker, you can make a lot of, um, you know, jelly beans, um, chocolates, um, duck feathers and lobsters, blankets, stuff like that. And then you can trade these foods for barn tools because there are a lot of people that are actually always willing to trade the foods for the barn because um, a lot of high level players, for example, level 200, maybe 300 have already upgraded the barn to maximum, which is 15,000 and I think it's a lot. So they don't really need the barn tools anymore. So what they do, they basically trade their foods. They basically trade their barn tools in exchange with the food. So all you have to do is to make these things, for example, I have 118 butter and the ratio of butter is 1 ratio 3, which means if you're going to be trading your butter, you're going to get 3 barn tools in exchange of 1 butter. So it's all your choice. At the end of the day, it's all on, it all depends on how you play the game. Are you willing to trade or not? Because if you're going to do trading, it's going to affect your level. You will not be able to level up faster. I have a friend who's on level 63 and his barn space is over 5,000. And I know you guys are not going to believe it, but it's real. I've seen it. And what he does, he does a lot of trade. He He's always trading and he has not been leveling up since like two months. So yeah, if you want to trade, that's a good thing. But the bad thing is that you will not be able to level up faster unless you make a lot of foods. Now, I'm going to be talking about the quick ways to get expansion tools to upgrade your barn and silo faster in the Hayden. Now, honestly, the one thing that I always tell is that the more you play, the more benefits you get from Hayden. So it's a game of time. It all depends on how much time you spend on your game. So the first way that I use that I really like is basically harvesting my crops. And if you guys think I'm harvesting some um, soybeans and broccoli, and I'm just gonna get maybe one or maybe two expansion tools by harvesting. So let's see what do we get. All right, I just got a TNT and let's see what else we're going to get. And we just got a wood panel. So you guys, I got two expansion tools from here, not only for my barn and silo, but also for my mine. 
And in the similar way, if, whatever you plant, when you harvest it, you will get expansion tools. So as you guys know, I prefer to do weeding and I also recommend you to do weeding because it only takes two minutes. All you have to do is to plant weed on your field and then harvest it. And in two minutes, guess what? You're going to get a lot of expansion tools and also many other things. If you guys have not watched my weeding video, you can watch. I will put the link below in the description box. It's a really helpful video. So all you have to do is to plant the weed just like this and then wait two minutes you're gonna get expansion tools. Now, whenever you're freeing the game, whenever you think you have time, just go ahead, plant a bunch of weed, and then harvest it, keep doing it for um, as long as you want, maybe one hour, maybe two hours, if you think you have enough time, as I said, then you're gonna get a lot of expansion tools. And you guys can see you just got a wood panel. So let me have a look. All right, I just got 59 wood panels. Now, there are two things that I wanna talk about. There are some rare tools and there are some common tools. And this is different for everybody. For example, if you guys have look at my silo, you can see I don't have enough screws. I'm only got like 21, but I have way too much nails. Now, some of my friends do not get nails and wood panels, and they also do not get bolts and tapes. While well, I always get bolts and tapes, but I never get planks. So it's different for everybody. And in this way, you can exchange these barn tools with your other friends who do not get a certain item. The other way to get expansion tools in the game is basically collecting from your animals. Now, there are different animals we've got our cows, pigs, sheep, chicken, goat, which give you products in different amount of time. For example, cows will give you milk in one hour. So every one hour, if you collect milk, you can get an expansion tool from them. But it's random. It's not compulsory. You're not always going to get them. It all depends on your luck, but you get something when you collect from animals. For example, I'm over here collecting for my animals and if I'm lucky I will get an expansion tool or maybe not let's see but the chances are actually minimum but you still get something which could be anything boom you guys saw I just got a tape by collecting from my animals and if you want to like get more expansion tools make sure you plant I mean feed your chickens because chickens only take 20 minutes and in 20 minutes you can get maybe one or maybe you know in 40 minutes you can get up to two expansion tools because the chances are really minimum and as i earlier said the more you're going to play the game the more expansion tools you're going to get so it's just a matter of time all right i'm just going to feed my goats and let's see i'm just going to feed my sheep now that's cool i don't have enough all right i do have some cow feed i'm just going to be feeding my cows there we go and i'm just going to feed my pigs as well. Now you don't really have to upgrade your barn to a very high amount. For example, my barn is 5,250 and I personally think it's fine, it's okay. But I still want to upgrade it because um, you guys know I put a lot of sales, so I have to store a lot of expansion tools. And if my barn was smaller, I would have never been able to put that big sales. It's because I can store so many things. And a lot of people say that they do not focus on your barn, which is kind of wrong because the barn is the main criteria of your game. Always, always, always focus on your barn. No matter how big it becomes, no matter how small it is, just keep focusing on your barn. Keep increasing it. It can be helpful in so many things. For example, whenever the double XP truck events, you can make a lot of XP. So if your barn is bigger, you can store a lot of food. If your barn is smaller, you won't be able to store enough food and that's crazy. So if your barn is bigger, you can store extra things. You can do a lot of weeding as well by getting expansion materials. And then you can also send a lot of trucks to level up. Now you guys can see my wheat is ready and I'm just gonna harvest it to see what do I get this time. All right, got a bolt and boom, boom, boom. So I'm just gonna plant my wheat again. All right, no. so this is also a very great way to get expansion tools. Now, my favorite way to get expansion tools really, really quick in the game is by playing town. And that's what I recommend to you guys. Play town, play daily. No matter if you're a low level player in the town, you will get expansion materials. For example, if you guys see over here, I'm gonna get a lot of expansion tools. I'm getting a saw, axes, wood panels, and let's see what else. We're getting a lot of pickaxes. Um, we're getting, again, saws and axes. So you can get a lot of expansion tools from your actual barn. I mean, sorry, I mean town, not the barn. I don't know why I said barn. But yeah, just keep playing your town, keep collecting your townies. Um, I play my town four times a day, and I can get a lot of expansion tools from here. And if you guys don't know how you can get expansion tools from the town, it's very simple. All you have to do is to fully serve a town visitor. Whenever a town visitor wants to go to one building, make sure you send it to one building. 
and after being served, it's going to give you a free expansion tool. For example, this visitor has gone to spawn bed and breakfast, and now it only needs to go to Beach Cafe. So if I send him to Beach Cafe, and then I serve him, he needs one lobster skewer. So it's going to take one hour and 12 minutes. And after one hour and 12 minutes, this person is going to give me a free expansion tool, which I think is really, really helpful. Also, when you open the actual chest in the town, you can get expansion tools as well. Also, in the town, when you guys come over here, you can see this is the sanctuary board or maybe dock. So these are all the rewards that your townies give you after having a look at your sanctuary. So make sure you unlock your sanctuary, you unlock your animals in the sanctuary, and then your townies are going to give you a lot of rewards. So in my opinion, town is the best way to upgrade your barn and silo faster. If you want to get a lot of expansion tools, make sure you play your town daily, start upgrading it as soon as you can. It's really, really helpful for you in the future. And now you guys can see I'm getting a lot of coins as well. Got a bolt, um, paint bucket, uh, um, I got a plank, a tape, and two nails, and got 10,000 gold coins. So isn't this brilliant? I think it's really, really cool. Let's get back to my farm and talk about some other ways of getting expansion tools in the game. Now, another way to get expansion tools in the game is basically your pets. Now, pets are really, really helpful. So whenever they sleep after six hours, they give you expansion tools. For example, right now they're hungry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna feed them and then you guys will see how much expansion tools I'm gonna get. But make sure your barn is empty when you're gonna wake them up because if your barn is full, you're not gonna get anything. So I'm just gonna feed them. They need bacons and milk. There they go. All right, now I have all the pets. And I always recommend you guys to focus on your pets. Do not spend your watchers on the actual decorations or Maggie unless you have purchased all the pets. Because pets are important. They can give you a lot of XP and a lot of expansion tools. Now let me have a look at my barn. How many things I've collected. So you guys have seen that I've got like over three to four bolts just in a few minutes. I've got some tapes in as well and I've got some planks as well. Now, let's see what we get. All right, got a two nails and a one bolt from my donkeys. Let's see what are my um, donkeys. I'm sorry, those are horses. So I got a saw, which is cool. All right, got a bolt from my dogs. Wait, where are my cats? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let me have a look. What do my pops give me? Come on. All right, that's mine tools. Let's see. All right, gonna kneel as well. So you guys are seeing that I'm getting a lot of things from here. Let's harvest my wheat and see what do we get this time. Come on. All right, got a dynamite, which is really cool. I'm just gonna plant more wheat again. Now, another way to get expansion tools is basically from your uh, daily dirt newspaper. Now, the chances are really minimum because people are really fast and they're always looking for expansion stuff. But if you're lucky, you can find expansion tools in here as well. But I do not recommend you to purchase these daily deals because they're not worth it and they're going to cost you a lot of diamonds, which is not cool. So the newspaper resets every five minutes and make sure after every five minutes you, looking, you keep looking through the paper thoroughly. Um, you never know, you find a lot of expansion tools from here as well. Like in the picture you guys can see, I'm getting 10 TNTs for 720 coins. So this is a really good tip to get expansion tools as well, but make sure that you're really fast because there are also millions of people that are looking in the newspaper. So you're not the only one, only remember that and be really fast. The next way that you can get expansion tools is basically by playing the derby. And whenever there's special derbies, for example, um, there's some like power derbies. So in the last threshold, you always get double the amount of um, expansion tools than normal. So here you guys can see you're getting bolts, screws, tapes, and wood panels. So whatever you need, just select it. And even if you reshuffle, you can get more extra things. For example, if you were if your rare tool is plank, then you can get a lot of planks by reshuffling. But I actually I never reshuffle because I think it's a kind of waste of diamonds. But if you guys have enough diamonds, you can go ahead and try it. In this way, you can get more expansion tools. The other way to get expansion tools is basically by the mystery boxes, which can be found randomly on other people's farms or maybe on your own farm. So I'm just going to go around some random farms to see if I can open any mystery box or not. So if you guys can see over here, there is a mystery box. Three, two, one. Here we go. 
All right, I was just really unlucky. I got a booster. I didn't need that, but if you're lucky, you can get expansion tool from here as well. So we're just gonna trash this booster.